Team of the Season, the pie has arrived in Ultimate Team, and for those of you who've been around the channel for a while, you will know I have really enjoyed his special items this year, so uh, I'm pretty excited to give this 95 rated card a go today. He's going to be used as a cam, he's going to be used as a striker, we're going to try him out in a bunch of different attacking roles, and uh, yeah, looking forward to it because uh, I think it's going to be an excellent item. It is unfortunate though, straight away, that they haven't boosted his weak foot like they have with some of the other Team of the Season items, but nonetheless, he looks like he's got some terrific stats and hopefully they translate really, really well in game. If you want to improve your ultimate team and need some coins to do so, you should check out my sponsor, IG Vault. There's a link to do so in the description. And if you use the code Kieran, you'll get yourself a nice little discount off your order. The list is the side he's going to be playing in. Like I've already touched on, he's going to play Cam and he's going to play Striker. Most of you will know how I play FIFA. My Cam is normally just like a secondary striker anyway, so I kind of feel like this role will actually suit him really, really well. So like I touched on at the start, three star weak foot, bit of a shame but not the end of the world I guess. Five star skills though and high low wear crits, very very nice. Plenty of traits on shirt as well which is obviously really good to see. Now in regards to in-game stats, I think he just looks class. Like really really good. There isn't really a bad stat on this page. There's a couple that I wish were a bit better like the Composure but um, he just looks great. Pace is obviously ex excellent and um, very easy to get this guy to 99 pace with many chem styles. Um, shooting looks really nice, good finishing, really good shot power of 97. And also the is just one of them players in FIFA who just always naturally has a ridiculously powerful strike. So uh, I doubt this card will be any different. Passing, once more, looks really, really good. Elite crossing, a very good shot passing. And his long passing isn't too bad either. Also will help him out with both his shooting and passing with him having 99 Kev. Dribbling, another area which is very, very strong. Good agility, nice reactions, nice ball control, and 97 in-game. Dribbling, very, very pleasing to see. Like I've already touched on, shame about the composure, which isn't terrible at 89, but he kind of would have hoped for a little bit better. And finally, the physicals. For an attacking player, they are brilliant. He's got a brilliant combination of both pace, dribbling, and physical, so should be a nightmare for defenders. Really good strength and aggression, so his fight for the ball should be big, and uh, also um, good jumping as well, so hopefully can win some aerial battles, even though he is just 5'9". One thing I guess I'm also a little bit disappointed in is the stamina of just 91. 91 stamina obviously isn't terrible, but for a player who we're definitely going to be running a lot with, um, he could tie it a bit quicker than maybe we want, but we'll see how that plays out in game. But let's jump over to Footbin and let's talk about Chem Styles. With a basic, he's a 97 rated Cam winger and a 95 rated striker, which is just brilliant. And he's one of them cards where as long as you don't go like defensive heavy, there isn't really a bad option for him. And depending on where you want to play him, that could definitely dictate which Chem Style you go for. If you're going for striker, I think Hawk would uh, definitely be one to consider. Also, Finisher is another one as well. Obviously, if you do want to play him as a Cam, uh, there are alternate options and I think Engine would probably be the one if you want to keep him as you know a distributing cam but um, we're going to go with Hawk for this video just want to max out his pace give him some ridiculous physicals and uh, also make his shooting pretty damn elite which is it's already really good but uh, the Hawk is obviously going to make it that much better but um, like I've already touched on there really isn't a bad attacking, attacking chem style for this guy whatsoever so uh, let me know what you would use in the comments. Okay, so we are up against this on the Pies debut. Very good at team this season backline right there. Oh, I don't know how the Pies can win with the ball there, but it's in the end a really good move. Oh, we are going to get very unfortunate. Are we going to get lucky? We are going to get lucky. Bit of both there, but uh, we get the goal and that's what matters. Bappe puts the ball through in behind. Oh, is that a foul? No? Okay, that's a shame. It felt like one. Oh, ball drops to the pie. Can we get the shot away? You bet we can. Very nice composed finish as well. Cut back and put the ball in the back of net to take the lead for the first time in this outing. Nice. The pie out the back. Options in the box. Bit limited, but hopefully we'll find one. We find Mbappe, who's got a chance, and he won't miss that kind of chance either. Well-placed pass from the pie and a nice bit of teamwork to get the goal. A nice opening 45 for Depay as well, getting involved in both defence and attack. Um, I thought he had to you know, track back a bit. Um, in that midfield role. We're going to put him as a striker for the second 45 and uh, hopefully can do a nice job in that role and I have full confidence he will. Oh, what a flick to beat his man. Oh, what a goal! <laughs> what a striker from the pie. Like I said at the start of the video, just ridiculous shot power on every single the pie item. That was genuinely just a hit and hope shot, but um, 
it's paid off and in the end it's a brilliant brilliant strike and it's forced a rage quit too in the next game the pie is up against a van dyke a normal one and also a road to the final david alba nice good link up play here opportunity for memphis not memphis sorry for mbappe straight off the bat links up with memphis and gets us on the score sheet oh i just nabbed it off van dyke left footed strike as well and look at the power on that Hard and low, out of the reach of the keeper, and it's two. Was in behind Memphis and Mbappe once more, linking up very nicely. We're going to put the ball back across the box for Memphis, whose header sadly goes straight into the hands of Edison. As if Sambi has won that. Oh! I had control of Mbappe, and Memphis had just like gone for the ball for no reason and stopped a clear chance there. Interesting. I actually didn't think that ball was going to get through. But it's come to Diata and Diata, oh wow, I have pinged that wide. Space. Depay, oh wow. Do not give him space. I've already touched on the shot power, it's stupid. Very accurate, very powerful, and uh, our two goal cushion returns. Physicals. Chance, can we hit the finesse? We can, oh, he scored again. So powerful, so accurate, every single strike. 4-1 at the break is the scoreline then. Very nice opening, 45 from Memphis, who, uh, yeah, first half hat-trick. Really can't complain with that. And they're not terrible goals either. They're all pretty damn nice. So, uh, very pleased with the opening display. It's our ball. We don't want to share. Oh, get on the end of that. Oh, I almost nabbed it off Kimmich. Memphis, first time pass into Mbappe. Mbappe returns the favour. Oh, great touch, great touch, great control. And that'll end the game. That will end the game. Ice in his veins. The pie definitely the star of the show in that one. Four goals and one assist. And once again, the goals that he's scoring, they're not just boring goals. They're really, really nice goals. Very powerful strikes. And uh, yeah, thus far, really enjoying it. Well, after the Depay goals compilation, what are my thoughts on this card? Um, I think you guys can tell that I enjoyed using this card. His output is just so, so good, especially in terms of goal scoring. Shot power in game feels like more than 99 and... Yeah, he's just fun to shoot with. He really, really is because his shots are just so powerful and accurate. And if you give him a bit of space, he is seriously going to punish you. And you can see by the rating that uh, I enjoyed this card also. He's not quite just in the outstanding category, but he's literally just just below it so uh yeah we'll discuss that why that is um going forward i guess so uh first of all what are the positives to this card and um, the run making and base positioning of this item is excellent obviously those high low air crits do come into play with that also um his high attack positioning stats so um very easy player to uh, get in possession of the ball in good attacking positions and um, his strength and physicals in general are really really nice he certainly can be used for hold up play and he's also just one of them players who won't just beat defenders for pace he'll also beat them for strength as well so that is obviously really, really nice. As a wide man, he really will do some damage against full backs. Now let's talk about that shooting, which, as you can imagine, I thought was really, really good. His finishing is class, and his shot power is just ridiculous. Power shots with this guy are just so, 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 so good. And like I touched on at the start of the video, the Pi's always been one of the players who's had a ridiculous power shot in FIFA, and that obviously does not change with this item. So, uh, yeah, very lethal with the right foot. And to be honest, it's a bit more of the same with the passing. I thought his crossing was really nice, his short passing was decent, and his long passing isn't that bad at all either. So the guy definitely can play the camera if you want him to do so but but there is one thing that does hold him back in both the shooting and the passing and it's pretty obvious what it is it is the freestyle weak foot the left foot just is nowhere near as good as the right in terms of accuracy with passing and shooting and that is very very unfortunate that is definitely the worst part about this card for me personally his right foot is godly his left foot not so much and i'm not saying his left foot is bad by any means but in comparison to the right it is just levels above as you would expect with it being you know a freestyle weak foot dribbling though i thought was really really nice and to be honest um i commented on the composure at the start of the video i didn't think his composure um affected him much at all you saw in the clips like even in tight situations I managed to dribble my way out and still produce, you know, really good shots under pressure. So um, I'm really, really happy with that area of his game. Obviously, it's worth mentioning he is, you know, bigish in game. Um, obviously not height wise, but like he feels, you know, big. And um, he doesn't feel as agile as maybe the stats suggest, 92 stat. And I definitely wouldn't say he's as mobile as other, you know, attacking options like your Neymar's and Mbappe's. But still, I thought his dribbling was really, really nice. And because he does have that strength, um, even if he does get caught up when turning, he does have the ability to hold 
off would-be defenders, which is obviously very, very nice. So, um, yeah, all in all, as I say, great card. Just short of outstanding for me, but still an absolutely class item and uh, definitely would not mind getting this item in my red picks at all. He would make for a ridiculous impact sub off the bench and, uh, yeah, he could even act as a starter, to be honest, because uh, I think he is that good. But, um, yeah, shame about the weak foot. That really, really does limit him, in my opinion. But other than that, as I say, terrific item and uh, one definitely worth giving a go to if you can fit him in your side. So guys, those are my thoughts on the 95 rated Memphis Depay. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, drop a like rating on it. In the comments below, let me know your thoughts on the item. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.